What's going on, Washington fans? Welcome to Taking Command with Josh Taylor here on the JTFB channel. And it is finally time for some football. I'm headed to Ashburn. I'm leaving on Wednesday, and I'll be there for the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday practice of training camp. It's finally time to talk about some more football. We had some OTAs and mini camp and stuff like that. But it doesn't really feel real until you get to Ashburn and you're at training camp, and you're seeing the players, and you're talking to the fans and stuff. So I want to just do a quick little preview video of telling you what I'm looking forward to at training camp because this is one of my favorite things. I've been going to training camp since I was little. Um, even back like in the Richmond days, like, gosh, I've been going for a long time since I could remember. And honestly, that's what made me really start talking about this team. I remember going to training camp back in 2018. I remember buying a little mic and talking about the team on this cheap little HP laptop I had. It wasn't anything crazy, but I was like, I want to talk about this team more. And that's really when I started doing all this content stuff. So training camp means a lot to me. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, like I said, I just want to talk to y'all about what I'm looking forward to, but I want to hear what y'all are looking forward to as well. Like I said, I'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm trying to figure out what all I should bring with me equipment wise. Cause you can't really bring with so much. I don't know if I'll like disconnect my, my, uh, my camera and take all that stuff with me, but I'll for sure have some videos and some content and stuff there, but let me know what y'all want to see for the people that can't come to training camp, even the ones that come to training camp, whatever. Let me know what you want to see, like video wise pictures, you know, observations, things you want me to look out for, but content you want to see on the channel. And then always, like I said, follow me on uh, Twitter as well at Josh Taylor FB Twitter might be changing to X or whatever it's called. I'm not leaving. I hated threads. Threads is not the move. Twitter will always be my platform. Uh, so follow me on Twitter. If you have a Twitter um, on Instagram at uh, Josh Taylor F uh, FB, you can follow me on there too. I share a lot of content on there as well. But I got a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you, so you don't miss out on anything. If you enjoy what you see, hit that like button. But got a lot to talk about. And a lot of content is going to be coming up on this channel and on my social media platforms. So I don't want y'all to miss out on it. Got a lot of big things cooking up. This is going to be a great season. Even though I'm not in Virginia anymore, I'm out here in Austin, Texas, you can't get rid of me, uh, especially since we got new owners. Everything feels different. I'll be at week one. I'll be at a preseason game. Like I'm going to be in Virginia a lot. You're going to see me around this team a lot. I promise you. But with training camp, what's the number one thing I'm looking forward to come Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? And this might sound corny, but honestly, number one is the fans. Like I said, we have new owners now. It's a different day. I saw how the fans were reacting at the pep rally, you know, tailgating the sale of the team, going to these, uh, these bars, these hangout spots, and just really celebrating a monumental event in Washington's history. I mean, one of the biggest days ever for this franchise. And this fan base was electric. I mean, it, it was nothing short of amazing. I really wish I could have been there for that. Unfortunately, I wasn't there. But I'm looking forward to just interacting and talking to fans again. I'll be doing some some videos, asking fans some questions, thoughts, you know, uh, things they're looking for, training camp, predictions for the season, stuff like that. Just including the fans more. I want to I want to talk to y'all more. I want to get y'all's opinion on this channel more. That's something I'm super passionate about. I'm not some crazy like. I don't want to be like some famous guy that just yells about the team. That's not me. I want to be a guy that shares my fandom with y'all, and I want to hear from y'all. I want to hear everybody's stories. I want to I want to include y'all's y'all's fandom on this channel and uh, just really talk about this team and this passion that we have for this team that we root for so much. This is a very passionate fan base. Whether it's about the name or the stadium or the owner, whatever it is, the players, how they perform on the field, <laughs> this fan base lets our voice be heard. That's for sure. So I'm looking forward to seeing the fans. Outside of that, on the field stuff, I think number one for me is just listening to Eric Bieniemy, new offensive coordinator. Saw a little bit of him, you know, on the the quarterback series on Netflix with the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes. Not too much. People complain about that. Speaking of voices, people are like, "Oh, this guy's not on there enough." Whatever. We heard a little bit of you know the OTAs, the mini camps, and how Eric Bieniemy talks to his players, and I love it. That, that's what I like. Like That's the kind of coaching I like. That's what I prefer out of my coach. I want a very vocal. He, he expects the most out of his players, but he also you know, leads by example. He gives his most every single day. Just listen to him talk. Like Go back and listen to some of these press conferences. Like If you go to the, the Washington Commanders YouTube channel and just watch the interviews that he had, not even just his opening press conference, but talking after practices and stuff, I love listening to this guy talk. I, I love how he discusses things, with, especially with Sam Howell, how he goes so in-depth with Sam Howell, who I'm going to try to talk to at camp as well. 
Uh, but I, I love how detailed he is and just how he really shows what his vision is and says, like, this is what I expect out of these players. This is what I see. This is what we need to be doing. And he's very vocal on the field as well during the drills, yelling at guys, saying, like, hey, you're, you know, we're giving, we're, we're giving all of our effort on this play. Like, you're not, but we are. So I need you to get up to speed with things. He's very vocal. And I love that about EB. So I want, I want to see how he really coaches. You know, even if there is an audience, even if there's a ton of fans there, not every fan's going to like it. But I, I love that kind of coaching. So I just want to see and, and hear how, how vocal, interactive Eric Bienemy is with these players and how they handle it. You know, I think these players so far love Eric Bienemy. And that's one thing that we've heard a lot about is that players really get behind him. So I'm excited to see Eric Bienemy out there on the field. And of course, I'll say, um, I guess this is technically number three, but number two on the field. I'm looking forward to Sam Howe. You know, he, in, in training camp last year, I was there six days, I want to say. I was at OTA mini camps and I was at training camp. So I think in total, it's like six or seven days. But I want to see how Sam Howell really takes the reins as quarterback one because he was lighting it up last year at training camp and there were rotating reps and stuff like that. He got mostly, you know, third team reps, but he got some first team and second team reps as well. And he was killing it, he was lighting it up. He had a lot of big time plays. You know, I've known his game. I've been around him live plenty of times. I've been to North Carolina plenty of times. I was at the Senior Bowl covering him, just watching him practice there, seeing him in person. And it like his, it, the ball comes out of his hands very noticeably. And I think fans learned that very quickly last year. And if they didn't, they're going to see that in training camp this year. But I just want to see how he takes command. You know, he's, he's one of these quiet guys. He's not all over social media, he's not vocal, like he's not flashy. He just. He just shows up like I, I love the kind of guy that Sam Howell is. He's been one of my favorites for a long time because he's such a good guy. But I think he's a very talented football player that doesn't get enough credit yet. And I mean, some of y'all seen me on Twitter getting upset with some of these fantasy football guys saying like, oh, he's not a threat. Look at his player profile thing. Back in high school, he ran a four, eight, blah, 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 whatever. And just don't watch the tapes. And that's something I come at every single time. People are like, oh, that's uh, that's all y'all's comeback is, is watch the tapes. Because the tape doesn't lie. I don't care how, how fast of a 40 Sam Howell had. I don't care how many, you know, what his 10-yard split is, anything like that. Go and watch the tape on Sam Howell. The guy is a legit running threat. He showed that in North Carolina, especially his last season, when he really had to because he lost everybody. Really bad offensive line. He had the highest uh, broken tackle rate in the last 10 years of any position. And I mean, it was up there with like Javante Williams, Malik Willis. I think he was number two, to be honest with you. He is really good on his legs. No, he's not Lamar or, or Justin Fields or anything like that, but he doesn't have to be. So I just want to see how he really, you know, grows into this quarterback one this season, how he really commands the field as that leader as well and get these players behind them. And of course, you know, throw some ooh and ah throws out there, impress the fans a little bit, have us talking, try to get some good videos if we're allowed to. That is one thing about training camp timeout. They're pretty strict about a couple things. Like I remember they, they like will tell you to take down certain things and stuff. Um, but still, like I'm gonna try to get as much video and, and, and pictures as I can. That's why I kind of want to bring my camera, but like, I can do it on my phone. It's whatever. Um, but I want to get as much Sam Howell content as possible. That's something y'all been telling me on Twitter. I was asking y'all what y'all want to see at training camp. Sam Howell keeps popping up. Um, also, uh, speaking of young guys, I, I, I want to say just Emmanuel Forbes. I'm going to throw Quan Martin in there as well. First two rounds of the draft, we go. Emmanuel Forbes at corner. Quan Martin, who I think can play some nickel, some like big safety up front. Can play some single high. Can play a little bit of everywhere. But I want to see these DBs, these young DBs, you know, you could throw Forrest and, and Curl and those guys in there because they're not that old either. But I want to see these rookies specifically against this wide receiver court, uh, against Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel, Jahan Dotson, even Deami Brown going deep. I want to see how these young bucks do against this really good, in my opinion, very slept on wide receiver room. Amanda Forbes, I, I want to see some of these interceptions. And, you know, maybe it's not realistic to say, oh, you know, even though he led the FBS and picked sixes, and all of college football history, the six of them, don't expect that to just translate right away. But I really think that how he plays, I think it will translate right away. I'm not saying he's going to have, you know, three or four pick sixes a season. He might have like one. Um, but still, like, I'll take it. But I think, I think his skill set and how he, you know, reads and reacts and how instinctive he is at that corner spot, I think it's going to translate quicker um, than a lot of fans think, honestly. I, so I'm excited to see how he really 
you know, is one on one. You know, it's gonna be some seven on sevens. There's gonna be like some eleven on eleven, like full drills and stuff like that as well. There's gonna be a lot of times where he's out there on an island with Terry, with Jahan or Curtis, whatever. And I'm excited to see those reps. I want to see how these two young guys go against these really shifty, really just. I mean, when you talk about release packages, I think Washington has one of the best release package wide receiver rooms out there with especially with Jahan Dotson. Oh my gosh, he's filthy. I love me some Jahan. Speaking of autographs, I got to bring my Jahan jersey for that. Um, but I want to see these young bucks. You know, it's not easy going out there against these guys, especially on these drills. These drills are very wide receiver friendly. I'll say it. Um, so I want to see how they look against them as well. And then I want to see the, the, another thing on this defense is the, the linebacker room. Um, I, I've been very concerned about this linebacker room for a while. But my eyes are on Jamin Davis. I, I think he's poised for a big season this year. I kind of had him as a breakout candidate um, in one of my videos so far that I've done this offseason. I think Jamin is in a really good spot this offseason, and they go with Cody Barton, who's still learning the defense as well. Khalid Hudson's got some reps. Like They feel good about these young guys. Um, but I think Jamin is in a good spot to where he has everything around him. Like This is the year. This has to be the year for Jamin. So I want to see how the linebacker room, you know, coaching wise, I want to see how they rotate guys in, who starts, who's like the depth guys. Is Cody Barton ready yet? Maybe he needs a couple preseason game or two to really get on the field full time. But I want to see how the, how they really rotate these guys in. Same with the DBs. I want to see I want to see the packages that Jack Del Rio is putting together, Ron Rivera is putting out there. Some of these rotations that we'll see heavy of. Um, and of course, I'll, I'll kind of end it with. Um, an obvious one as well. And that's Chase Young. Um, I remember being there last year and I was like, he was there, but he wasn't practicing and everyone's freaking out about it. Just didn't know like when he was going to come back, obviously. And everyone's just like looking They were, I mean, it was like, he was under a microscope. The whole practice it seemed like, like, what's that knee look like? Why is, why is that big brace on there? Yeah, we're kind of concerned. So I'm going to look at Chase Young. Obviously it's not a full game speed, which is where I think the big test is. When you are going against a, another tackle at a full game speed, someone that you don't like, someone that's not your teammate, it's different than training camp. Um, but I think at training camp, you can still get an idea of like how comfortable he looks in his position, how quick he's getting out, you know, off off the snap, you know, how how quick he's reacting. But also something I've been very critical on with Chase is these counter moves. Like you can't just go to the outside and depend on just your power and then just get washed out of the play or, you know, you got a tackle doing like a trap on you. Like, cause you're doing the same thing. I want to see what that arsenal looks like. He's been putting in a lot of work this off season. I feel like he's finally at that hundred percent where he can work on other things, not just worry about getting healthy, but I want to see the, these like spin moves. I want to see the, you know, some rips, some, some chops. I want to see some inside counters. I want to see some different things out of Chase that we haven't seen in the last few years. You know, going back to obviously when he won uh, Rookie Defensive Player of the Year. I want to see that that Chase Young back. So let me know what y'all think that you want to keep an eye out on in training camp. Like I said, I will be there. I'll be on the ground. I'll be sweating. It's not that bad. It's going to be like 95. I can't act like it's not like 106 right now in Austin, Texas, because I'm dying out here. But I think training camp is going to be fun. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of the year. And then right after training camp starts, uh, the preseason games. I think I think the first preseason game is like next Sunday. It's, it's the uh, Hall of Fame game. I forgot who it was. Jets, Browns, I want to say it was. I can't remember. I want to say the Jets are in it, though. So, like, football is really close. Uh, so, like I said, guys, hit that subscribe button because I got a lot of good things coming on this channel. Um, not even just Washington stuff. I'll start talking about some college stuff as well. But I'm going to be heavy on Washington this year, guys. I'm, I am all in on Washington this year, doing some stuff for Bleacher Report and stuff, doing some live streams as well. So stay tuned on that. Like I said, subscribe to the channel because you don't want to miss out. But then also follow me on Twitter at Josh Taylor FB because that's where I talk about most everything, honestly. But I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, I'm going to do some giveaways as well. I'll do some giveaways that are YouTube exclusive. I'll do some giveaways that are Twitter exclusive. So don't miss out on those too. I mean, I'm talking about sign helmet. I might get a jersey sign or something. You just never know. Terry, Chase, Jonathan Allen. I mean, Jahan Dotson. I got some stuff signed over here already by Jahan. Um, so stay tuned. I want to give some stuff away because not everyone can go to training camp. And I want to include everybody. That's something I'm passionate about as well. I want everybody to be included because it's a new day, guys, here in Washington. And I appreciate y'all checking out this video with Taking Command with Josh Taylor. Peace. Peace.